To start card making, you'll require a cutting mat, a metal ruler and a craft knife. Alternatively, you could use a guillotine and this will be a lot quicker. You will also need scissors, glue and foam pads. You will need card blanks in various sizes plus the matching envelopes, backing card and backing papers, toppers and sentiments. To mat and layer on your cards, take your chosen card blank and measure the width and the height. Your first layer will need to be half a centimetre or a quarter of an inch smaller. Take your chosen layer, measure the width half a centimetre smaller and then cut the excess away using a craft knife and a metal ruler on a cutting mat. Turn your layer, measure again and then cut away the excess. Turn your layer over and add a thin line of glue around the edge. You could also use double sided tape for this. Make sure you go right along the edge. Turn your layer over and adhere to your card front. To add a second layer, take your ruler again and measure the width and the height of that first layer. Your next layer will need to be half a centimetre smaller. Take your card and use a guillotine this time to cut away the excess. Simply butt it up to the size you require and pull the guillotine down for a quick and easy way to create a layer. Turn your layer over and add a small line of glue around the edge. Make sure you don't go right to the edge as a small amount of glue might seep out when it's added to the front. Turn your layer over and adhere on top of your first layer. You can use extra layers if you wish. Once you have matted and layered your card front, you will require a focal point. Toppers are ideal for this. Simply remove the toppers from the backing paper. When they are removed, they will have small pips around the edge. This is what keeps them in place. Simply take a small pair of scissors and just trim off these pips just to neaten the edge. Turn the topper over and then apply foam pads to the back. Take off the backing from the foam pads and then attach your topper where required. To add another topper, trim off the pips again, turn it over, add some foam pads, remove the backing from the foam pads and place on the card front. You can also use decoupage on your card fronts and we have a separate video for this. A 3D decoupage sheet is perfect for creating a quick card. Start by removing the main image labelled number one from the sheet. Next, remove any piece that's labelled number two. Most decoupage sheets have all the pieces numbered. Turn the pieces over, add foam pads to the back, remove the backing from the foam pads, then attach on top of the main image. Repeat with all the other pieces. You could always use silicone glue instead of foam pads. Make sure you use small foam pads on any of the smaller pieces. Next, remove all the pieces labelled number three. Again, turn the pieces over, add foam pads or silicone glue, and then attach to the main image. Repeat this process again with the pieces labelled number four, and then the pieces labelled five, and finally the pieces that are labelled number six. The basic principle is the higher the number, the smaller the piece. Once these are added, remove the sentiment from the backing sheet. Add foam pads or silicone glue to the back and attach to the main image in the gap.
Next, you can add this to a card blank. You could either add it straight to the card blank, or alternatively, you could use a sheet of coordinating cardstock. Simply glue in place on the front of the card, then add some glue around the back of the decoupage image and a deer on top. You could use a scalloped card like this one, or alternatively one with a plain edge. Once your toppers are in place, you will need a sentiment to add to your card. These pre-cut sentiments are very easy to use. Simply turn them over, add foam pads to the back, remove the backing from the pads, then apply to the card. Alternatively, you could use gold or silver adhesive stickers to add a sentiment. These simply peel off the back and can be applied to the card front or onto your topper. Alternatively, they could be attached to a piece of card, trimmed to size, and then foam pads could be added to the back. These could then be attached to the card front. Instead of adding a pre-cut sentiment or stickers, you may want to die cut a sentiment. Lay your first plate on your die cutting machine and add a sheet of sentiments on top. Take your die in the right size and lay this face down on your chosen sentiment. You may want to secure this in place with a small piece of craft tape. This will stop it moving when it's in the machine. Lay the second plate on the top and then run this through your die cutting machine. Once it comes out of the machine, remove the plate and remove the sheet. Take the sentiment out of the die, then turn the sentiment over Add a foam pad, remove the backing and attach to the card where required. Alternatively, you could use dies to cut out another topper and this could be added in the place of where the sentiment is. You may wish to add embellishments to your card like a pre-cut shape like this butterfly. Simply remove it from its backing, then add a foam pad to the back. Remove the backing from the foam pad Shape it slightly with your fingers and then attach where required. A bow makes a really pretty embellishment too. Simply add a small foam pad to the back or attach it with a blob of glue. For a final flourish, you may want to add adhesive gems in each of the corners and this will just add an extra touch of sparkle. Once the outside of your card is finished, you may wish to add an insert. Take a coordinating insert and fold this in half. Place this inside the card. Then use a pencil to mark the size you require. This can then be cut with a guillotine. Lay the cut insert back into the card, then run double sided tape down the left hand side next to the central fold in the card. Remove the backing from the double sided tape, then close the card and rub down the edge to attach the insert. You can now write in the card, or alternatively, you could use a peel off verse. Simply remove the verse from the backing, then carefully attach centrally on the right hand side of the insert. Rub gently with your fingers, then use a paper creaser to rub all over the insert. This will ensure a seam-free finish.